Hello and welcome to the 10th tutorial of this series. Today's lesson will be based on extruding splines. Now we worked on splines and shapes as 2D objects on the last tutorial, but in this lesson we're going to turn them into 3D objects. Let's head over to our command panel and select shapes. Now under this, get your line tool and you're going to start drawing some 2D shapes. Now we're not going to use the perspective viewport to draw uh, but instead we are going to be using the top viewport because then we can get a clearer view of what we're trying to achieve. So you can either create something at random or follow what I'm trying to draw here which is a simple shape in the form of a heart. So start off, just click and drag and then if you happen to make any fault just hit the backspace on your keyboard and that takes you a step back. You can hit the backspace button as, as much as you like. So, okay, not perfect, but I think that will do for now. And now we've got our 2D shape, we're going to convert it to a 3D shape by extruding. So make sure we've got our shape selected and then go over to your modifier panel, drop down the list and select the extrude modifier. Now you notice we've gone from a 2D line drawing to a solid plane. This means our extrude modifier is working. Now under the parameters, you can extrude your objects by either increasing the amounts, by using the arrows on the right side of the numbers, or you can simply enter the numbers as you wish, like so. Click enter. And I'm quite happy with that. So there we are, we've got our first extrusion done using the line tool and the extrude modifier. Now let's delete that and work on something else. So we're still using the same techniques. We'll try and achieve something different. So press delete. And then let's go back to our create tab, make sure we've got a shape selected and then get the end gone tool. With regards to sides, leave it to six. I think six is all right. And then just click from the center and don't make that too big. Something medium sized will be okay. And now let's go back to our modifier panel. Drop the list down. Extrude. And because we've used the extrude modifier before, the amount we entered on our previous shape is automatically applied to this one. So we can either keep this or play around with it. But in this case, maybe, maybe we'll reduce it slightly. It's almost the same. So from your front viewport, click and just drag that up slightly. So not too much. And then let's go back to the create tab again. Take, this time we're going to use the circle. And then from the center on our top viewport, just click and drag. And then once you're happy with that, Whilst it's still selected, go to the modifier panel and then extrude again. And then this time we'll increase it to meet uh, our previous shape. And that's what we've created. Now, with regards to the segments, the segments help us separate our object, so it makes it easier to edit. And it also makes it easier when working with other modifiers. But we'll be exploring this more as we get to, as we get to use them in the future tutorials. So all you need to do uh, with the segments, as you add them up, you notice more lines are being added, especially when looking at it from the front or the left view. And that's how you add your segments. We'll be exploring this later. Um, maximize that viewport. I want to show you 
what capping is. So let's just delete this object and then select that again. Right now we've got our caps selected. What we're going to do is untick those boxes and see what happens. So as we've unticked both, now we've got a hollow object. And when you tick those again, we've literally we've literally got a 3D object again. And that's what capping does. And again, a lot of these functions, you're going to understand them more when we incorporate them into creating objects such as chairs, computers, sofas, and anything else. But as for today's tutorial, I think we've explored enough with regards to extruding objects from splines and shapes. And uh, I'll look forward to seeing you on the next lesson where we'll be looking at editable polygons. Thanks very much for tuning in today and I'll see you again soon. Bye.